Well, here we are in a tunnel. We're going to film today and Susan's going to tell me, I think it looks like we're filming Sweet Pea, but before we even get to that, what do you think of the new jackets? <laughs> Isn't this the business? This is what you need to be wearing out in the garden. I'm absolutely delighted with mine. I'll show you mine as well. So okay, Susan, are you going to face camera right, now? Right, okay. Face camera. Right, <laughs> yeah. we're sowing so, some Sweet Pea, Melody so, Mix, and yeah. because it's early March, we're going to put them in, well, we're in a tunnel here, but in the greenhouse or a warm windowsill or something in the house. Now, sweet pea seeds are incredibly hard. They're very hard casing on them. Right. So some of these here, I'm going to inspect some of these, but yeah. some of these I've actually nicked with my pen knife. And I've discovered it's extremely difficult to do, but I've just fractured the case slightly. And when it's a hard seed like that, does that mean that it's well, very hardy? No, it just means it's very hard case. It's right. literally physically hard. Okay. Okay. Now, there is a rule that some people say you nick it, you can soak them for 12 hours before you plant them in water. And so why would you nick it? Just to try and make it easier for the for the sort of thing to start growing, for the roots and the, and the, oh, the seed see. leaves so to come out. But I'm only going to do four, four of them here, which I've nicked. So how deep am I going now in my You're seed tray? You're going approximately an inch. An inch down. Yeah. Okay. Lots and you just can do it with your finger. Very just straightforward. Your straight nice forward. and easy. Yeah. So you've one. nicked them all. That's. I. I mean, no wonder most of the stuff yeah. I try to grow doesn't have them. I've already done four of them here just to see if it makes any difference. The rest. I'm going oh to do yeah. So we can actually ordinary. show um, when this actually starts to grow. Which. Well, if if this end comes up yeah. first, we know it's a good idea. A good idea to nick them. But yeah. Um, Nobody's nicking these out in the wild, they're growing, so I right, consider okay. they will grow perfectly fine without. Yeah. Here we are, it's a very windy day today. I mean, we're, you know, in March. It's oh, it's, the, it's just it's unbelievable. It's March, We've, March winds. Yeah. It's real March winds. They're talking about snow coming next week. I mean, what? I'm sorry, but I'm staying in bed, no filming. What, what, the snow. what a climate. So now sweet pea then, we get these to a certain stage. We get so, these to a certain stage when they're about four inches high, yeah. you nip the tip out of them yeah. to make them branch out. Well, we're going to show that so on we'll camera. Show that, or we'll yeah. show that when we get to that stage. Yeah. And when would you plant these out then into the garden? Um, we're looking at putting them out probably uh, early May sometime, so they're quite hardy. But once they've grown and they're getting to the stage of planting them out, you have to harden them off, which means you take... <laughs> Okay. You take your seed tray and you put it outside during the day so they get used to the outside temperature. Oh. And this is like the hyacinths at Christmas time. Uh, slightly. Like no. the forced hyacinths we had. Yes, you were, only you were acclimatising them to being indoors. In this instance we're acclimatising them to, to be being outdoors. outdoors. Oh, okay. Because at night time it's too cold, is it? Um, it's just if you suddenly take them out from where they've had a protected yeah. atmosphere and you take them out they go, Ew. Yeah, so okay. shrivel off them. And so why is sweet pea so nice? I mean, what is it about sweet pea? Because not everybody's familiar with sweet pea. It's um, it's just a very nostalgic, to me it's a very nostalgic flower and the scent. And the other thing about them is when they are flowering, the more you pick them, the more flowers you get. Yeah, sunglasses, Dan. <laughs> the more you pick, the more flowers you get. If you let them go to seed on the, on the plant, they stop producing flowers. Because the object of it for them is to reproduce. So, so when you, you go, we'll show that on camera well, yeah, again. When we get to picking stage in yeah. the summer, yeah, but not, okay. we're not there yet. Have they a lovely scent? Yes, wonderful scent. So they'd be lovely to cut and just bring yeah, in? Yeah, cut and bring in and keep cutting and keep bringing them in. And what about growing these on a balcony? Um, very pretty you can the get, colours. You can get dwarf ones. These are tall for climbing about sort of five, six right. feet. But you can get dwarf ones to about two feet, which you can grow in pots and tubs. Which would be very nice if you had an apartment. Or, or you could do them in a big pot on a tripod yeah, cane with the really tall ones. Which would be really nice, wouldn't They're they? They're lovely. The sunny balcony, you know, they do like, they do need to be in the sun. So you have to have, you your, have, balcony to have your balcony in the sun. In the sun yeah. Okay. But the so, lovely colours, because they look, they're pink and yeah. white and cream and purple. So, you know, on a, on a plain balcony, they would really lift. And you've got something to pick and bring in. Yeah. yeah. So that's that there. So that's <coughs> that. Now I'll be just giving up. I moistened the compost beforehand. I was going to ask you that because the compost doesn't look like the compost you just take out of the bag. No, no, I put some water in the top of the bag right. and moistened it. As we've done before on camera. Yeah. 
because and it's very <coughs> important to move gives, to moist it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's very hard to get it wet afterwards. If you do it at the top of the bag, you can mix it with your hand and things. And okay, so you pour the water Just into your compost bag, bag, mix it around, and then push it into your and tray. And then push it into the tray. Okay, that's a great tip. So there's a lot of people might push it into the tray and then run a thing along. And then of course and it, it just doesn't spill out. It spills out or the bottom yeah. doesn't get wet. Yes. Yeah, so so, but this yeah. once I've sold them, I give it a light sprinkle over water and that will go in. And the that's it. For, yeah. So we're okay. ready then for our next and step. I think we can um, move it. And yeah. there's a tray over here now which I'll bring over okay. I can. Well, I Staff will excuse me there. You've abandoned me here now on camera, which is just brilliant. Yeah. But I'll talk yeah. to you about our fabulous jackets. I can't <laughs> get over how warm these are because it is freezing this, outside. Are you saying this At long last, Gardenville have so, a good warm jacket for filming it. Here we have, these ones are already come up. So this that is... That will turn uh, into that when they germinate. Right. And when they're about this high and beginning to push out, pinch the tip out. And we'll show that, we'll show that when we get to that stage. Great, okay. okay. Yeah.